Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. In the last video, I showed you how to make a Mickey Mouse character, very cute one. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check it out. It's a very cute way to make a Mickey Mouse, and this can be a very cool idea for a, a special balloon for the birthday boy. It have really cool techniques. You know, you can see the back. I never pay attention much to the back. The coolest things from here, I guess, is gonna be the tail. <laughs> But then the rest is that the, the only mistake I think is this should be another color, but okay, whatever, whatever. I like it, it's cute. And uh, check out the tutorial, it's long, but I think it's totally worth it to watch it and learn. Now, let's now in this video, because I'm going to a party and I am thinking I need my hat. I always wear a crazy balloon hat. And if I show you my table, I have a lot of scraps. What? Yes, I wore a lot of pieces of balloons. So whatever is there, I'm trying to use it. So then one thing helps me to clean my, my mess. <laughs> and also, uh, <laughs> then um, I use what is there already, you know. And I'm trying not to use what is organized there on my awesome um, organizer bag. So um, now, let's start it with the idea of... Um, I even have here entire balloons. Why not to use it? I'm gonna use an everything inflator because it's gonna be much faster. But look, when you wanna do something like using a scrap to make the hat, that's what I'm gonna show you now. It's a nine finger tail, and you just make this. You wanna make an awesome hat because sometimes it looks awesome, much more better if you use eight balloons inflated, nine finger tail, eight. But if you wanna go simple, because it's for me, an hour event, one hour event, and that's it. You can make it with just six balloons, nine finger tail, and this thing is gonna be okay, okay? So think about that. I'm gonna go with six, but the thing is, try it with eight. You want me to go with eight? Mm, but it's gonna take longer. It's just only because of the twisting. But, uh, so I'm gonna do that. And uh, also, in real life, in some ways, good, you can see how much time it takes to make the hat. A lot of time people ask me, oh, how long took you to make your hat? You can, you can lie if you want. You can say a thousand hours. It took me a thousand hours. <laughs> you can say, oh, I don't even remember. I don't know exactly, you know, but remember how much elaborated can be also if you start thinking uh, or thinking about colors. Oh, what colors specifically? In my case, I'm going with whatever is available. Unless it's a, a specific occasion or something I want to play with only, you know, Halloween colors or orange and black or stuff like that, you know. So it's up to you. But right now we're going to see how, how uh, much time also will take us. Because I'm going to go with first version. I already told you, you have to make nine of this idea. Nine finger tail and a pinch twist in the beginning. Okay. So you will need of those uh, six minimum. Okay, so I already have five, you need one more, and then that's it. Now, you want to inflate a balloon, leaving like four finger tail, three, all the way long. Mm -hmm. Four or three finger tail. Okay, that's it. Something like this, okay? Look, like something like four, three finger tail, and then tie it. For what reason? Because that's going to be kind of the base. This time... Usually when you make uh, this design, you can start from the top. This time I'm starting from the bottom, the ones that goes around your head. Okay, so now you just grab it, pass this around with one. You can even tie it, pass it a couple times, it's gonna stay there. Then measure, if it's six finger bubble, so you just gonna measure six finger bubble here long. If it's a six finger uh, balloon, you know, hat that goes around, like the one I'm making right now. If it's eight, so this doesn't have to be that long because then it's gonna be too big to, you know, for the circumference of someone's head. So you're gonna measure right uh, for if you have eight of these balloons, eight, you will need here like approximately four finger long, okay? But I'm gonna go with six, four because 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 okay. So twist. Then you're gonna grab another one of the nine finger tail, twist, 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 and then I measure six finger long. And the whole entire time I'm using the balloon that it was with a uh, three finger tip. Remember? Three finger tail. Okay, so then doesn't matter the pattern right now. But again, you can play with patterns. Then six finger bravo. Twist, 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 twist. Do, 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 do. And then six finger bravo. Making sure. 
and then pass it around, and that's it. Keep repeating, four finger bubble plus two, six finger bubble, grab this piece, pass it around, then again, six finger bubble, and now it's time to close it. Now this is the circumference, circumference, circumference here. So make sure you have three, you have six, six, yes. Then pass it around, cut this. You don't need this anymore, but this piece, make sure you tie it, you love them. Okay, and now you have the first uh, circle. Yep, that's what is um, this type of hat. You have the first circle that is gonna be the one that is on your head, like this. The rest is gonna be building now up. How tall? Well, you can always add one more of this balloon uh, pink, the way I did it, three finger tail. You can have another one if you want. Or from here, in my case, because really, again, it's only one hour. I don't got, have to be super big. I usually be, make as big and amazing the heart as the special, special occasion. For example, New Year's Eve, Christmas, Easter, on Halloween for a festival that I'm going to be there a long time. I like to make something big that calls attention. And no matter what, a balloon hat totally calls attention. So this is going to be medium regular size for birthday parties, especially one hour birthday party. So <laughs> let's keep going. From here, you just grab one bubble of any of these balloons. Look, a bubble that is no more than two finger long, a bubble. And now you're going to measure six finger long. And then two is. And then from here, you want to connect it to the next balloon that is coming next to that with a bubble, no more than two finger bubble. Okay, so, and then you want to twist these two together. So see, like, will you show me better angle? Okay, I'm trying to go. So you have this, look. We start with a less than two finger bubble, six finger long, two finger bubble with the next one, and connect there together. Twist, 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 twist couple times until now you know that green already we use we're gonna now use the next one that is was blue and this time we just go with six finger long twist now the next one who's coming in the next the purple in my case look how i'm using my neck with my shoulder and lock there so then this connection doesn't get and twist and then with this purple i'm gonna make two finger bubble twist 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 twist, twist. Grab the intersection in these parts, these two connections, and twist it together. Now, which one is the turn to go? The purple. For six finger long, twist, 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 twist. Use your neck if you feel comfortable, and your shoulder. Make two, fing two finger bubble. Twist it together. Now it's time to, to this color. The same idea and use and move your balloon as the way you prefer four finger bubble what is going to be easier for you okay whatever is easier trying to find that another two finger bubble here put it together twist 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 twist, twist. now it's time for this pink six finger bubble lock it in between your shoulder and your neck two finger bubble with the next one that is what's in the next Twist it together, and now it's turn from the green. Six finger bubble, and connect it here. How? How to do that? Well, now I'm moving it into, you are in the last one, and there is no balloon here to connect. So you twist, 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 twist this part, and the rest is gonna go through here, or if it's easier for you, in between the pink and the green, from this part. Just grab this intersection here, so then it doesn't get untwist, so you I hold it this way, and pull, so then things doesn't get untwist, and go until it clicks there, and twist, just twist, so it doesn't get untwist. So now you have the weaving growing and growing, you keep going, look, this was supposed to be six, but this one seems a little bit bigger, right, because sometimes fingers <laughs> play funny. But uh, <laughs> you try and do your best. That's the most important. Now keep going. You can go faster. It's the same idea. Now you can see with practice, you just am repeating and repeating the whole thing. Yep. It's still a 
you're not using your neck and your shoulder because I'm not really need to when I'm not making the tutorial. I just keep going like this, okay? You can also make, instead of six finger bubble, you can make a shorter and then you can play with longer ones and make this much more crazy. If it goes, for example, here a little bit smaller and then you can make even smaller. I'm gonna go with the other, instead of six, I'm gonna go with four. So, it's gonna look like it's going into a pyramid or, or a cone. And then when people think that, then I'm gonna go with bigger sizes. So you play with that weaving and you can create a lot of different shapes. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So this is what is the weaving. And remember this technique, the weave, you know, Technique is really cool if you want to make what? Dresses, uh, bags, hats, baskets, you know, a lot of things. Now, just keep going. And I'm just, instead of uh, four, I'm going now with three finger long. Why is it silly? Because I want to show you that you can play with different sizes for the bubbles and it's going to help to make these designs have another shape, not just a straight up top hat. Uh, it can be with, now imagine if you play with the same color, all the balloons, that's also another effect for this design, okay? Um, let's see, let me keep going until I, you can see, oh, I can see, yeah, it's going different. But, I see the angles, see, I know what now, I get it, what you mean to say. <laughs> okay, okay, let's keep twisting this part, lock again, hold. Now, look how the hat start going kind of like this angle. Why? Because instead of six finger long, we were just making it a little shorter. Now, here it doesn't play with the same idea, but now here you can see much more. Uh, you know, six, then was five, four, you know, three. So that's kind of um, the idea, you know, playing with different sizes. Now, these bubbles, the ones that goes this way up, round ones, the small two finger, they are only just two finger or less, but that's it, okay? Um, let's keep going, let's keep going. And now, I, do I want it to go all the way pointy? If you want, if it's not, you can start now blowing up. And if you want, you can have more balloons. But in my case, I'm playing with what I have with me, okay? Right now, and that's it. I'm just, because you can make this much more elaborated if you want, totally fine. I'm gonna go and use the purple, that even I use it here, but this one start getting too short. So then the same purple, I'm gonna also keep it long because this one is still having more air. So you can always decide those things. You know, well, and you are twisting. That is kind of your own choices and your artistic moments. You know, for example, here, this is getting too short, the pink one. But this one is long, so why not to use it two times? If you want, you can. You can do what you want. The opportunity is um, But if you run away. And now this is another thing I do. For example, here, if I want, this can be at the end and that's it. It ends in a bubble and this bubble, that's it. I leave it there. I don't even to pop because it may lose everything. So why to pop it? Just leave it there as a bubble. So if you want, if it's not, just leave it like this. Grab this part, the other one, the other balloon, and you will have something like this, a green there. Okay, it's totally fine. Now, because this end is smaller than the head part, this is more like a hat like this, it's gonna be fine. How to end your hat? Well, all these bubbles, you can always put it inside like this, okay? If you are in a hurry, you can always put it inside and that can be how it ends. Nobody sees that, it covers that part, and that's it. It can be, if you're in a hurry, if these ones are kind of like long enough, you can end up with a bubble and grab another one that you feel like, oh yes, you can play that way, and twist it together, like these two. 
and then squish it in there and then with another one you can do the same like one side to the other one just tie it if you don't have enough balloon and it's gonna be fine really you can always play them with the bubble that you just did it with the other ones and hide it there and the same this one for example is too small for everything there's no anything to do just gonna be there low as a silly but it can come anytime you can always grab another balloon start here and just go into the center this is a very fast way to make a hat okay but i don't recommend you to try <laughs> to make it as light as a line twisting i don't think it's going to be a good idea as a line twisting okay now from here this hat looks cool and then you can add something else around another balloon to 60 balloon, two balloons 160 what do you prefer and i'm going to show you the 160 version that is kind of cool i like it you just grab balloons 160 i'm going to use red and the other one is going to be um yellow i guess bam and this is our 160s and you just inflate it leaving like three finger tail okay. lose the three finger tail and then the other one the same and this is what I do and people like it, but it's a, it's a lot of other options, okay? Three finger towels, tie it, tie these two balloons together. The idea will be that you can use this for the whole circumference. It will be ideal, but so that way you wanna, you want that and you wanna try, squish, stretch, so it's gonna be much longer. Yep, the same the other one, squish, stretch, and it's gonna be much longer than it's, it was. Okay, now each pin, one pinch twist, grab, pass it around, twist, and then go in this like this loop. One, two, and three. That's it. One, two, and three. And pass it to the next one. Pinch twist. Grab with my thumb. I push. One, twist, twist, twist the two balloons 160. And twist one more time. And then grab these two. Uh, one, two, three, the spider, and connect it with my thumb. Look, I grab it, squish, wow, twist, twist, and go it's around the pinch twist, and keep twisting, and keep twisting, and keep twisting. The same idea, squish, gonna go this angle, and go in the spider. One, two, three, and then put your thumb there, grabbing the pinch twist, and twist it. 160 twist while passing it around the pinch twist and twist a couple more times. Squish one, two, one, three. My thumb traps twist around the pinch twist and twist a little bit more. Squish, twist, 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 twist three times. Thumb and pass it around. And then you will have squish. Them. and the same idea and look usually one or two they're getting tied and i just leave those bubbles i don't want to pop and tie them because that will take longer and that will be a little bit harder to cut tie them. no and why not it's a crazy heartless leap days this one it will be easier you're just gonna leave a bubble if you want cut the end and make sure you have a, a tip whatever is the tip that you want to leave is going to help you to secure everything by passing it around so that's what i'm going to do passing it around passing it around passing it around and ta -da. so now if you want that can be your front or if you want that can be your back side and you have this crazy hat now we play uh, my ponytail Usually my ponytail for my hat, I leave it all the way up. So I'm gonna show you what I do. And depending if the hat is too big, then I just leave that the ponytail this level. So it's gonna help if it's too big. But if it's a small, like this time I made exactly my size of the hair. I put all my hair like this, but it's gonna invade them later a mess. So I or just grab a ponytail and put it here. So then it doesn't um matter. So I'm gonna do that if i can't so you have a better idea what i'm talking about it's like one thing is what i say and i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but i put my ponytail here so now it's not to the side back no it's not in the back it's right on top 
So, stop as you can. So then it's gonna be hiding there. And I'm gonna just squish it. And there we go. So look at my cute today's hat. <laughs> it's very cute. This is gonna be the hat of the day. Remember, you can always add something else. Maybe a little flower, why not? If you think, oh, I can do something else. Grab another balloon, that's what I'm doing. And just make a little cute flower or a balloon dog and glue dog it there, you know, or anything. If all this is one color, it's gonna pop up more whatever you do extra. Like a flower, it's gonna pop up more or a balloon dog or any other, so. But in my case, I'm just going with a flower. So I'm gonna make a flower. And this is a cute thing, and, and I notice it happens. Like when you make, for example, a flower, then everybody, you will start noticing the kids, the first things they wanna say, it's, I want a flower. What would you like I made for you? A flower. They were gonna say because they see the flower right in the, you know, their faces. So that's why. I'm gonna just attach, and this is just, you know, something else that you can always add to your hat. Okay, look, I have long tips. Why not to use it? That's how I think sometimes. It's like, okay, that's how I, what I have. I'm gonna use those two um, tips, uh, long tips, in order to grab this and tie it somewhere like I look at it. So if I have the hand like this, I'm gonna put it to the side, or if you want to the center, or anywhere you want. But it's gonna help you also to recognize what you want. And you don't have to make it too tight, really. It can be a little bit wiggly. That way, your balloons don't feel um, that they are too pressure in there. So that is good. You also have wiggly because every time you move, it looks like that moving by itself. And that is cute too. That is something cute. So um, it was something like this, right? I think so. So now, you see the flowers to the side and it's kind of cute. Or you can have the flower right to the front. And in your side, you see, you can, you have a lot of uh, um, ideas, but I think it's kind of cute. I, I like it. Tell me in the comments what do you think about this crazy hat and the idea of playing with the pavos getting shorter. If you want to add more, then from here you can even add more and make it much taller. But really, if you are planning balloons outdoors, I don't recommend you to turn too big because then you're gonna be with the challenge of twisting balloons with a big balloon that it can be losing any time. So this is a really cool size. <laughs> Actually, I like it. Uh, tell me in the comments, what do you think? Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe is very important. I always invite you, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, because this challenge, I'm very proud that it have lots of content and also I have live videos. Live videos, it's when I, um, I'm i here, you know, probably showing or talking about something right away that came to my mind and boom, I wanna share with you. But also, when I'm at events and you can see that uh, cool moments, you know, if you're a balloon twister, I'm sure you can enjoy, especially if you're starting, you can enjoy these awesome live videos that I'm there at events so you can see how it is to you know, how I interact with the kids, how I interact with the environment that is parents, you know, waiting in the line, you know. Usually, and this is the only difference, if they don't have music, I provide music to the events. But when I'm making the live videos, I cannot do both at the same time, unfortunately. One thing, in, yes, copyright, but the other thing is that my cell phone, you know, is filming. So while I'm filming with my cell phone, I cannot play music because it stops the recording. You know, so that's kind of the, the the bummer. Oh, actually, when I have the music and then I start recording, it stops the music. Yeah. But um, it's still really cool, the videos. Uh, I, I like it, and it seems like a lot of people like it because it have more views than tutorials. <laughs> it's like, wow. So I'm sure a lot of people is curious to see how it is to be at events, twisting balloons, like line twisting or even birthday parties. Or, so... I haven't done really, I don't think, much birthday parties. I'm going to try and see if I can do something today. I try, okay? <laughs> but I can no guarantee, okay? I'm going to try and see because sometimes that is more private, you know? Birthday parties. But I'm going to see, okay? Uh, thank you all for watching my videos. Don't forget. Yes, I already said that. Oh, yes, my invitation. Very important. To where? Well, I'm going to talk to you really quick and you already looking at the website and go check the more information there but 
this is the awesome balloon convention i'm already registered and i'm confirming i'll be there in july this is you know what i already um can wait to be back it's really cool because everybody there is very nice friendly and it's all about the love of balloon the joy that balloons can bring to people and if you are starting this awesome art you know twisting balloons it's going to be a really cool place you can hang out meet new friends and also learn from basics but also you can have intermediate classes and you can also check it out the advances class so there is a lot of different levels there's classes all day for like four days a lot of different classes different balloon instructors balloon jams sessions that are it's every night and it's something cool because you learn not just balloon twisting then you learn a little bit more about how to start your business you can learn about uh, the entertainment part and so whatever you want because that's the thing you have a lot of choices and you decide even what class you want to take so it's something cool not just for beginners not just for intermediate or advanced for everybody that love balloons everybody's invited check out the website las vegas Bling Bling jam it's the balloon convention and this coming year 2024 is celebrating their 10th anniversary so i'm excited because it's going to be very special plus this balloon convention have the legends of balloon art so you will see there i hope this year is there john holmes he's an amazing balloon artist have so many years you know making balloon twisting also um well, Steve Klein, he's the organizer and have lots of experience with balloons too. But there is another one that um, I always forget. It's kind of like Steve Klein and one that Klein, Klein Stillman. Ken Stillman. Ken Stillman. He is an awesome balloon twister, but I always confuse the names. <laughs> Ken Stillman is going to be there probably. It's been the last two years. So I can't wait to see him again. He's an amazing, beautiful person. Like when you are there, you just like to contemplate, you know, whatever he's saying. Because <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, um, and also he, people there that have even more experience and probably more to, to share, they're much more humble. And that's something that everybody can learn. I can learn from them and everybody, I'm sure, you know, because they know not just to make things simple. It's just to teach in a simple way and that's something really cool okay okay i'm leaving now long video sorry guys but enjoy enjoy bye bye <laughs>